following a devastating incident on the carnival ride at Cinco de Mayo. It happened Saturday. An 11-year-old girl's hair got caught in the spinning mechanism of the ride and ripped part of her scalp off. Tonight, our Aaron Murray looks into the insurance side. Aaron, with something like this, uh, we do know that claims have to be filed, correct? That's right, Lena. With something this severe, those injuries that little girl got on this machine right here behind me, this King's Crown machine that's now kind of closed up, it does seem inevitable that a claim or claims will be filed. But a lot of things go into play here. First and foremost, what the investigation reveals on what exactly happened, how the carnival staff reacted, medical bills, and also the suffering that this little girl went through. The King's Crown ride at Omaha's Cinco de Mayo Festival started out fun as Elizabeth Gilreath smiles from her seat. But quickly, the fun stopped as you see a woman running towards the ride when Gilreath's hair became caught in the ride, pulling off part of her scalp. I took these pictures after her surgery and this is my little. The pictures show the line where her scalp was surgically reattached. You don't even know if the muscles will work and my daughter will be able to see again. That is our baby. The incident and the ride now under investigation. But in a case like this, insurance will almost always be involved. So we reached out to Casillo Insurance, a company who was well versed in carnival insurance. The severity of the uh, claim is going to dictate um, how fast it moves and the documentation that's going to be required. Small claims are normally settled between the insurance companies. It can take up to one to two months. But Casio says severe bodily injury incidents, like the one that sent Gilreath to the hospital here, that could take between one to three years. And that's normally because those claims go to court. Sunday, the ride company Thomas D. Thomas Shows told WOWT 6 News, quote, an investigation is underway. The thoughts and prayers of everyone are with the young girl and family. But the Gilreath family says this statement is all they have heard. Why hasn't the company reached out to us? Why hasn't anybody reached out to us? Now, I reached out to the company today, but our calls and emails went unanswered. Now, Casio Insurance says that that's not completely unusual because this early in all of this, they might be being advised to kind of stay quiet at this point. I also, John and Lena, reached out to the family of the little girl. She still remains in critical condition, but again, her injuries are non-life-threatening. Yeah, Aaron, after an event like this, you wonder, are other carnivals rethinking uh, their events or anything like that? I did reach out to several of the big fairs and events that we see carnivals at across the metro area. And so far, none of them say that they'll be taking those carnivals down or away. They said they're very sad to hear about this situation. But all of those carnivals at the ones that we go to for every year, they'll still be up. All right. Thank you, Aaron Murray reporting.